All right, all right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How's everybody? Um, yeah, and I'm back at it with another one. So I am back with season series, I should say, series number four. Um, well, it shouldn't be series. I think it should be episode number four. The series is the entire uh, collection, which is Not My Mama's Wigs. Um, and then today would be um, try on or episode number four. So today I'm coming with slightly different content. Um, still wig related. Y'all know this is the season or a series of Not My Mama's Wig. Um, but I do have some wigs that are different uh, lengths as well as different colors, as I may have already explained to you guys. So today I am coming with short wigs. Yep, yep, yep. Short pixie cut wigs. Um, I've already put on my cap. Of course, tried to get one that was close to my skin tone. Although I'm not doing the ball cap method, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first wig that I'm coming to you with, it is a sensational wig. That is what the wig looks like. Nice little pixie situation. Um, it's bump wig. And of course, that would be from the bump hair if you're familiar with it from your local beauty supply store. So let's just go ahead and get right into it real quick like. Because I have two wigs in this series as well. So of course, we have the card with all the uh, details on it. And then we have the wig itself. It is still attached to the box. So let me go ahead and get my scissors and get that taken care of. Oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna believe this. But I done cut the top of it. Lord. Well, we're just gonna hope for the best because I felt like I cut some of the hair off the top of it. So anyway. I'm taking the uh, <laughs> protective little layer right off of it. Taking that off. And then let me go ahead and get this card taken off also. And I'm just gonna cut this right off. All right. Cut it off. Everything's good. Taking the paper out of it. All right, so this is a little itty bitty something another. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop it on my head. Um, well, let's first see what the uh, inside of the construct the construction of the cap looks like. So I still don't see where I cut it at at the top. So hopefully, yeah, okay. So maybe I just cut the um, protective layer off of it, but okay. So the wig itself, it has drawstrings in the back. It also has a comb back here in the back as well. It has, okay, that's it. That's it. It doesn't have any other combs, which is a, um, a good thing for me, I think. Um, it does have these little, um, you know, the ear tabs where you can press them down and kind of make them stick a little bit more. So I do enjoy that as well. Um, but the combs, of course, we know those combs can be very irritating, uh, pulling your hair and all the whole nine. But all right, let me go ahead and just plop her on so we can get into her. So I didn't adjust the straps at all. I felt like they would um, be okay. Now this stocking cap may have to go back a little bit. I did put it on my head as though I was putting on a cap. Um, okay, let's see. Child, and y'all don't even mind this wig because I already know it's going to make me look 100 years older, honey. But we are doing this series, Come Hell or High Water. And I really don't know if that stretches across the wig. Like I'm totally out of it, but we'll see. Now, you know what? 
Okay, I'm going to just let that come back through because I know daggone well nobody was calling me and then hanging it up right away. So anyway, um, okay, so let's take this. And I don't have my mirror in here. I have a mirror behind me. So if I'm looking back there, y'all don't mind it. Um, at this point, I'm just trying to see what the wig is trying to give. Like, okay, so let's look at the car, honey, because... This is what it's supposed to look like. So, yeah, I got some work to do. Because at this very moment, y'all see how this wig looking on your girl? You don't see. You are currently the only. All right, guys. So, I am back. And, um, yeah. I don't know. But let me take this off my face. That's number one. So that y'all can get the full effect. All right, so we're gonna just put that down, child. But any hoodle, what you guys think? Um, I I don't know. I used to be in an era where I wore the long or the short pixie cuts, and that's probably gonna be more of a time when I was younger, when I didn't look old already. <laughs> but, um. I don't know. With the right shortcut, it may still give. Um, but and let me see. I'm getting this damn hair all in my eyes. It's just not doing too much at this very moment. It doesn't have any shape to it. Um, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, comment down below. Of course, all of these wigs are up for grabs. So... If you do want this wig, let your girl know, and I will ship it right out to you. But anyway, I mean, it's not a bad wig. I'm not going to give that um, because with the right molding and setting up, you can get the wig right or at least a little bit to your perfection, like however you would want the wig. If you want it to go all over, if you want it to have this parted, I would typically probably do something to that effect. Keep the part and then just kind of uh, shave this down, have that curled kind of going towards my face a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think of your girl. And let's see, what's her name? We already know she's from Sensational. She is... There's a mood or mode mohawk. So, child, she don't even got no name, honey. Let me put my glasses on because y'all know how me and these glasses work out. Sensational pre-bumped. Yeah. She doesn't have a name. And I think that is how they particularly want it to go like going this way and you know you can kind of hit it with a little bump it does say let me find that part and it is available in different colors as well so there's that they have the autumn what's that one um focus 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 try it ain't focusing all right, whatever. But y'all see it. So it has the um, autumn, it has champagne, it has snow, and then it has cherry. So those are the different um, versions of this wig. Again, this is the little mohawk. I think it's called the uh, mode mohawk. But I think it's kind of cute on her. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Next up, because we're going to move right along, um, yeah, and get right into this next wig. So, the next wig is going to be, again, it's short wig. Um, that's what we're doing today. This one is in a slightly different color. It is in the number two, so it should be kind of off black, maybe brown a little bit even. But this one is a Bobby Boss wig. <clears throat> it is Bobby Boss. And let's just get her out of the pack as well. So this one is attached as well to the box. Um, what is the name? Pure Style number two. Um, 
Okay, so this one has a style number and not necessarily a name. Now, it's shown with all of these different colors. It has TS4, has number 27, and then 613. So, that's what the picture looks like. And if you kind of remember, remember Car um, was it Carrie Nielsen used to wear her hair like that a little bit? <clears throat> but anyway, let's go ahead and pop her out. And again with the scissors. Oh, keep these glasses off of my, the end of my nose. Looking like the librarian. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. So we're going to slightly put that down there. All right. So we got the wig here. Oop. And we're taking the protective covering off. I'm going to put the protective covering back on both of the wigs. So just know that um, when you get the wig, if you desire it or whatnot, you can, um, it'll be brand new. It'll still be in here. However, the card may not be attached, but it's going to be included. All right. So we're going to use that. And so let me go ahead and take all of this extra stuff off of here. Okay. So, and now the texture is a little different. I see that automatically which I don't know if I like that or not because to a certain degree, it kind of looks bushy. Um, but, okay, let's go ahead and see. So I'll take the cushion out. <clears throat> and then we're going to just take the little card situation off. Okay, so. <laughs> Lord. All right, so there is that. Again, it is Bobby Boss, um, and it is M, like Mary, 162, M, Mary, 162. All right, so let me take off these glasses and this wig. Yeah, and these hairs are killing me. They're everywhere. It's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be cute if it had the right little stuff to it. Maybe I need to form it. Yeah, guys, you know, you can do some stuff with it. If you so desire, you can go ahead and play with that and get that little situation of popping and bopping. Anyway, let's go ahead and take it off because I'm pretty sure I got hair in my eye. Oh, child. Okay, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to put that down there. And yeah, honey, it's still in my eye. Mm-hmm. I hate. Okay. I think that's it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Okay. So, here goes nothing with the next wig. That's what she's supposed to look like. And then it got the little... Never did understand what the heck that's for. To keep a wig fresh. Child, what's this? And this was on the inside. I don't know. Maybe it's more protection or whatnot. But okay. So the instruction or the cap and construction. So it, again, it does have the two um, drawstrings in the back. So you can get it as tight or as loose as you like. No comb in the back though. Kudos to Bobby Boss. Now, low key. You know. Bobby Boss is my favorite brand of box hair because they just get it right every time. So let's go ahead and just plop Bobby on. And so, okay. I mean, wait a minute now. Um, I don't know. Bobby kind of got me a little worried because we ain't, okay, so this ain't as flat as I would like it to be. That's number one. Um... Okay, let's find her <laughs> what she's supposed to look like. Okay. So if I had to say something about, okay. Let's see what I would do with it. This is what I think I would do. Um, so this is going to be, is it? Uh, 
uh, <laughs> this little situation over here might not be that. Okay, so let me make sure I got the ear tag. And don't. And don't. Ha! <laughs> Didn't even have the ear tab lined up, guys. So, y'all y'all know y'all can't. Okay, so, already it's a no for me. Just because I don't really like anything in my eye. Uh, yeah. And let me back up a little bit. Because the little camera, or not camera, but the little, um, mirror situation that i have back here i don't know i don't know guys what do you think because i'm not uh, i don't know it kind of gives me a helmet head and i think i kind of look like chris jenner <laughs> not that chris's head looks like helmet honey because i messes with chris honey so don't get it twisted but i don't know would this be for auntie or what? So auntie just going to take this off. Um, yeah, I, I'm just, I, I don't know. And not to even be certain that whether or not this can take heat. Now, I know that the sensational wig that I had on previously to this one, that one does say that it can take a little heat. Um... And of course, I wouldn't want to like curl it or anything, but yeah, it did. Yeah, this, I don't even know what's the rhyme or reason for this piece. Like, is that supposed to lay down? Is it supposed to stand up? Like this part is just not really um, being about nothing. Um, it's a different texture even. I don't know. It kind of looks like the Beatles back in the day like i don't know maybe i'm just not doing it justice because i don't know what the heck i'm doing so if somebody down in the comments if you think this wig can you can resurrect her she's yours baby but yeah um yeah i just don't really know what she's supposed to be doing on this side that is now every other place it looks like you know we could really get something to pop in it's very long in the front but then short as you go back so it's layered um and i hope you guys can see me i'm gonna turn you around um i don't know guys <laughs> i'm on the cuff with this one i really don't know how i would wear this one um like I say, I would have to definitely um, attempt to add heat or try and shape it some kind of way. Um, yeah, I would cut it probably. Just shape it more around my ear. You know, kind of give it a little look. Maybe shave some of this hair off so that it's flatter. All right, what y'all think? Let me know how auntie look in this wig, child. And that's it for this week. This week's <laughs> not my mama's wig. <laughs> y'all, and y'all be kind in those damn comments when you're coming for me, too, with these wigs. Just know that <laughs> these wigs was already hip. I did not go out and purchase them. So I'm working with what I have, honey. But for some, whatever reason, my mama thought she was going to be able to rock them, honey. And that's why I say maybe I need to hit the curler a little bit because maybe I need to curl this frontwards, curl that backwards. Like, mm -hmm. y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, seems like if it was just, I don't know. I don't know. But <clears throat> that's all I can do. That's that's it. That's all I, I tried. I don't even know what my yeah. That was it. Leave it in the comments. Whatever you want to say. How maybe I should have flipped it more, or maybe just want to take it the hell off my hands, honey, and get it. 
Again, all the wigs that I am showing in this series are free of charge. Um, I am even going to pay for the wig to be sent to you. So if you do want any of the wigs that I am showing now, in the past, in the future, but I will let you know all of the wigs that are a part of the um, Not My Mama's Wig series. So you will know um, just by the series one, two, three, four, and so forth. So if you do want any of those wigs, comment down below and let me know. If you know anybody that is in need of, you know, wig situations and um, cannot afford to purchase them, you know, let me know and I will get this sh shipped to them. Um, they're just, you know, really taking up space and I'm not going to use them. So I would much rather someone else get use out of them if they can. Um, again, just you can play with these wigs. So you can, you know, if you have somebody that is in your family that you know that can maybe style it for you, cut it. Don't, you know, don't be remiss on getting these wigs um, just because they are synthetic or synthetic blend or um or what have you you know if they don't look like they may fit your styling need like right away just you don't know you never know get it and play with her and see what she can give so i don't know i know she ain't for the work for me because girlfriend is giving me too much it's like in order for me to make this work i would have to um somehow cut this Cut it, shave it down. I already told y'all what I would do with it. So if you have a different vision in it or different vision for it, let me know that as well. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll be back next week. So I prepare for Mondays to be the um, next series. So this is series number four. No, I keep saying series, but it's episode. Episode four in the Not My Mama's Wig series. So, yeah.